more have had. Well, Lee, I just really can't tell you enough about the difference that it made to an awards dinner. Um, we put all our consultants in the room. I told them that Dr. Morehouse is coming and they're all reading your bio and all very excited and what does he do? And I'm going, well, he does this and that. I have never seen such a fantastic show in my life. Mm. You had them absolutely in the palm of your hands and they loved it. And I saw them crazily taking notes. That's called an incredible hoster. Mm. And um, even some of them, right at the end, 20% of them didn't get it until you took that wig off your head. So thank you. Your performance was exquisite and extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you. Bob Johnson. Hello, my name's Bob Johnson. And I've been on the professional speaking circuit for more than 35 years and had the wonderful pleasure of watching a top-class professional just in the last couple of months. His name is Morehouse. Out of all the presenters I've seen, I've seen very few, very few, who from the moment, from the instant they walk on stage, totally 100% own it and own their audience. And their life, they go on in their lives with their car moving and I've made a difference. He said, Marky boy, if you're not making a difference, you're not making a difference. Well, yeah. See on the back feeling, you're feeling, so you're feeling what I'm feeling? You're feeling it? Okay, okay. Because I want to help you guys get more. But and I'm sure that's what you guys want to help your clients to do as well. Is that true yes or no? To get more. But you, they, if they want to have more, they've got to do something different. Now, what we know about getting more and more population is this. You know when you're helping people with a new beginning because we know that we have life inside the, what, comfort zone? And then there's life outside the comfort zone, in the discomfort zone. And when people are moving out of that comfort zone, you notice certain physiological reactions. Do you even know what I'm saying here? What we call them are twitches. When a person is moving out of their comfort zone, they begin to twitch. I hope today some of the things Bob was doing with you and others, you've begun little, there's been little twitches. Eye twitch, sometimes you get the eye twitch, the neck twitch, the, the lip twitch, the shoulder twitch. You, I got, they're, they're base level twitches for me. I'm going for a much bigger twitch tonight. I am going for what I call the, the sphincter twitch. Here we go, let's go. What do you think? I want more, you want more, we all want more, 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 more. We're going mad for more. Okay, okay, you guys down the back. I want you to stay, standing up to help the guys down the back there. I want you to feel, I want more, you want more, we all want more, 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 more. We're going mad for more. Twice as fast, twice as much energy. Can you imagine yourself naked tomorrow morning doing this? This will make a big difference. Here we go. What do you say? I want more. You want more. We all want more. More, more, more. We're going mad for more. Go and give yourself a hand. Nice. Woo! Woo! Because they use a lot of my go mad strategies at uh, Southwest there. And of course, Xerox. Uh, we've done a lot of great things at Xerox. Xerox can copy a lot of things. If only we could have copied more more houses, <laughs> we would have made even more. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of thing people are saying about me. So I can tell you what I'm talking about here. When you heard Kelleher's in the, in the bathroom in the morning, I mean, I tell you, that works. Jeffrey, I want you doing it for me. I love it. This is just something powerful about the guitar, is it? But this is my, this is the theme song that uh, Stevie. Anyone recognize that song at all? Oh, yeah? Wild thing, baby, wild thing. Let's, let's all sing it together, get some wild thinkers here. One, two, three. Wild thing. You make my heart sing. You make it. I mean, some people find me revolting. Oh, yeah. Some people find me revolting. I don't know some people. But what I say is, it is their comfort zone that finds me revolting. Their discomfort zone finds me quite attractive. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's rock, let's roll, again, get Oh, let's rock, let's roll, let's rock, let's roll, let's rock, go. Oh yeah, can you imagine? 
So it's yeah, safe. It's safe, mate. Okay, okay talking. Yeah, okay, yeah, talking. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, Steve, can you, you, I need, I need, I need more. Yeah, I said, I've got my eyes closed, and I. Ah, Steve, can you, can you be a little more? Yeah. So, by the way. Uh, oh yeah, I, I am a raving fan of this guy Farnell. Uh, and by the way, if you haven't got a copy of that book, you must make sure you get a copy of that book before the end of uh, this, uh, this, this weekend. Secrets of Top Sales Professionals. I'm a, a major fan of that guy. Oh, but Farnell has some gifts here. I'm sure he'll mention those to you at some point uh, that you'll get hold of that. So I'd just like to say to you guys, thank you so much for having me. It's been marvelous being here with you. Uh, just finish off, if you would, with mm-mm, all together, mm-mm, mm-mm, feeling good. The way it should. I'm out of the poor house because I've just dealt with more house. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Jennifer. Thank you. Great. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you, Professor Morehouse, last night. Oh. Morehouse is fantastic. I mean, the whole thing really delivered results for our for our participants. And when I say about results, they were just laughing and fall, almost falling off their chairs. Um, you did a couple of really great little acts with them that were just just really wonderful. I mean, you got them all engaged and enrolled in the whole process. Uh, you're a consummate professional at, at, at this entertaining game. Um, and I don't think there's a thing that happened in the whole evening that, that wasn't absolutely planned by you, but it just looked like it was a mess up there, you know, Dr. Morehouse and all this stuff. Uh -huh. And then the, the, the unveiling, I think, is, is a really powerful way in which people get, okay, this Morehouse been talking a load of crap, but sort of some of it's right. Hmm. And then, you know, you come in today to the conference and, uh, you know, and your suit on and the whole bit and you put a really professional show on and really show us the depth of your knowledge and experience. And look at... We, um, we as conference organisers, we yeah. and, and you know business owners, yeah. we go a long way to find quality people like you, and I don't think there's any better. Okay, not in this country. Very kind of you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. You were absolutely amazing, Mr. Moosehead. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Moosehead. <laughs> what the heck? What happened to you last night, Howard, when you were watching Morehouse? I thought it was amazing. I actually want to employ the man to work with me and they're like a cultural attaché for my company. I like it. We can talk about that. What would you say to someone thinking of hiring more out? Definitely Dynamo. I couldn't imagine anybody any more exciting than Mom House. Okay, thank you, Alan. <laughs> I'm thinking this guy is totally mad. Oh, yeah. But I'm really going to be open to what he's got to teach me because there's got to be something here that I don't know. <laughs> and what did you learn? Anything? Oh, yeah, hey, I was writing madly. All the what hours. would you say to someone thinking about hiring more out? Oh my god, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah go. Okay, thank you. <laughs>